What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and Microsoft To Do, and we're going to look at a new action just been released called um, List list To Do's in a Folder, or List To Do's by Folder, is what it is. Um, and what this allows you to do is this allows you to list all the To Do's that you have in a specific folder. So you can say, hey, um, go find everything that's in this folder and bring them back to me. I want to take a look at them. So that's what we're going to look at today. So let's jump in. So I'm in my flow here. Uh, I've got a trigger action, which is when a new To Do is created. Again, that's another preview action. And if we click on New Step, and then we search in the search bar for To Do, we can find the Microsoft To Do Business Connector. Then we can scroll down to the bottom and we can see this bottom one here, list to do's by folder preview. So this is a preview like all the other triggers and actions that I've been covering recently. Um, the preview just means that this is a new uh, a new action, a new trigger. There may still be a couple of bugs. Um, there may be a couple of changes before it goes GA, but essentially we can use this right now. So the first thing, the, the only thing it really asks for is actually the to-do list that you want to list by. So I do find it a little confusing that they're calling them lists and then calling them folders. I, one piece of feedback I do have from Microsoft is can we like keep this naming convention the same just so it makes a little bit more sense. But a list is a folder and a folder is a list. So um, the folders that I've got or the lists that I've got is Power Automate list, tasks, test PA list today, and this is a list. So I'm just trying to choose this one. I do have the option to put in um, custom uh, a custom action as well, uh, a custom value, but I'm not going to do that in this instance. Uh, the only other optional um, requirement or parameter that it's asking me for is the number of entries to retrieve. So the default, if you leave this blank, is going to be 10, else it can go up to 999. You may want to um, adjust this based on your scenarios. Um, 10 is fine for me. I don't have 10 in any of my lists, so let's test this out. Let's so click on test. I'll perform a trigger action. So I'm actually going to do this in the this is a list. Um, uh, no, actually, I'm not. I'm going to do this in the Power Automate list. Uh, I'm going to do this in here. Um, this is a new task. Uh, hello there. And hit enter. Now, what that's going to do is that's just going to trigger the flow and then it's going to go off and it's going to count all the items inside of the this is a list folder and then bring those back. So we can see that this flow has now run successfully. Um, and yeah, so, so that's going to retrieve everything inside that folder and present that back to me in data that I can do stuff with um, if it wants to load up. I'm having a slight issue today with this screen rendering after I run things, which is quite annoying. So what I've been doing is actually going back to my runs, which is fine, and it loads up instantly. So here we go. So this is a list. Um, and then we can see uh, the items in this list. So we can see, uh, you know, it's not very, not very easy to see, but we can see this is the JSON, uh, the JSON object in the body. And we can scroll down and we can see uh, the subject being test. Uh, and then down here, subject is this is a new task for PA videos today. So these are all the things that are inside of here. So I said we can also use custom values. So in here. If I um, don't want to have to hard code in this, this list item, I can hit add custom value, and then from the dynamic content of where we're triggering this from, I can actually choose the parent folder ID, parent folder ID, there we go. Click OK. And then what that'll do is that'll, wherever I trigger this from, whichever folder I trigger this from, it's going to pass that value to this and list everything inside that folder. Uh, and just to make it a bit easier, I'm just trying to stick a compose action in here. So I love compose actions. Uh, compose. And then we're going to uh, add in the subject, which is the name, list by folder, which just puts some apply to each around everything. And what it's just going to do is going to loop through and just capture that data and put that in the compose action. So that's all good. And then we're going to test this out again. So I'll trigger this action, same test. Wait for that to run, and we'll do it inside this um, this list item. So uh, this is a list or folder task. Hit enter. That'll run the flow. Um, it'll trigger it, and it will list everything inside of this um, inside of this folder. So we can see the flow is running, uh, and now we can see the flow has 
run successfully. Uh, and that did sound like a firework outside my window, but we're just going to ignore that. Um, and then we'll go to uh, the previous, go back to the previous page because um, I am having problems with this rendering tonight, uh, which is great when you want to shoot videos. Um, it's, it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> um, I do understand problems in general today with Microsoft, uh, Microsoft platforms. I had problems with power apps earlier, uh, which is always fun. Uh, oh, that's not that's not the right one. Come on. There we go, that's the right one. So we can see again, uh, we've triggered this and we've passed through the details of this folder. So we have, this is a list or folder task, test, and this is a new task for PA videos today, and then the test task item. So what that's done is that is run inside of this folder and it's listed everything inside this folder. Uh, so that's really handy uh, and that's just gone through. So. This is great because we can finally list things that are in our folders. So uh, as, as I've said in previous videos, I use Microsoft to do a lot for keeping on track of my day, um, especially if I have different meetings or different projects, I can kind of keep track of a list of items that I'm doing or like smaller tasks um, that need to be completed. So I tend to like make a folder for them or a list for them, drop a bunch of tasks in there and just like click through them. This will help me kind of like see what what, what tasks I've still got in here, um, which ones haven't been um, ticked off, which ones haven't been deleted and things like that. And allow me to kind of go through them and do some other data with them. And I can, you know, put this into a, a HTML table and send it out to someone or I can, you know, do something else with it. But this is all about the possibilities of what you can do with these actions. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, if you could drop a like or share it with a friend that would be much appreciated if you've not already please subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you next time